Your person, the individual who holds a significant place in your life, is on a journey of transformation. They are eager to demonstrate their metamorphosis and their newfound willingness to take risks for you. Their heart yearns for your presence, aching in the void that has been left in your absence. They are coming to terms with the pain they inflicted upon you, acknowledging that they hurt and neglected you when you were at your most vulnerable, showering them with love, affection, and undivided attention. The remorse they feel is profound. They are consumed by guilt for having taken your love for granted. They now understand the depth of their mistake, the gravity of their actions, and the pain they caused you. This realization has led them to a place of deep regret and a desire for redemption. The truth is, your person was intimidated by you. Your aura, regal and commanding, left them feeling unworthy. They were in awe of your strength, your grace, and your spirit. They didn't feel good enough for you, and this feeling of inadequacy held them back. They were always under the impression that you would choose someone superior to them, someone more deserving of your love. This fear prevented them from opening up to you, from allowing themselves to be vulnerable and honest about their feelings. However, when you decided to concentrate on yourself, to find happiness independently, they found themselves in a state of shock. They watched as you moved forward, as you found joy and contentment on your own. They observed you from afar, unable to comprehend how you could sever ties with them so easily. The thought of you cutting them off completely is something your person cannot bear. It's a reality they are struggling to accept. They are genuinely shocked that you are allowing them to leave without expressing any anger or resentment. This reaction, this calm acceptance of their departure, is a testament to your strength. It's a reflection of your resilience and your ability to move forward, even in the face of heartbreak. This has left them in awe of you, even more so than before. Your person is grappling with a profound realization. They understand that no matter where they go, no matter what they do, they cannot forget you. They cannot replace you. You have left an indelible mark on their heart and their soul. You have taught them about love, about spirituality. You have humbled them in ways they never thought possible. They are coming to terms with the fact that they took you for granted, that they failed to appreciate your worth. And now, they are left with the consequences of their actions, with the pain of their mistakes, and with the hope for a second chance. A chance to prove that they have changed, that they are willing to risk everything for you, and that they are truly sorry for the pain they caused. From the moment I met you, my life has been consumed by a constant stream of daydreams. These aren't just any daydreams, but vivid imaginations of a future I yearn to share with you. Each daydream is a beautiful scenario, a moment in time where we are together, living our lives in harmony. These daydreams are not mere fantasies, but a reflection of my deepest desires and aspirations. You, as a person, are the embodiment of perfection and beauty. Your personality radiates warmth and kindness, and your presence brings joy and comfort. You are a beacon of light in my life, illuminating the path I wish to tread. I want you to understand this and never doubt your worth. You are not just another person in my life, you are the person who adds meaning to my existence. The love I have for you is not ordinary. It is a love that burns intensely within the depths of my soul. It is a love that transcends the physical realm and ventures into the spiritual. This love forms a bond between us, a bond so strong that it cannot be broken by anyone or anything. It is a bond that connects our souls, making us not just two individuals in love, but soulmates. However, life is a complex web of duties and responsibilities, and I have my share of karmic obligations to fulfill. These obligations are tasks that I need to complete, lessons that I need to learn, and experiences that I need to undergo before I can return to you. I am aware of these obligations and am committed to fulfilling them. I understand that you deserve nothing but the best. You deserve a love that is pure, a relationship that is nurturing, and a life that is fulfilling. This understanding is what drives me to make significant changes in my life. 
I am making these changes not just for myself, but for you and for us. I don't want to bring any chaos into your life. I don't want our relationship to be a source of stress or discomfort for you. I want it to be a source of joy, love, and growth. Walking away from you was one of the most challenging decisions I had to make. I thought I could adjust to your absence, that I could get used to not having you around. But I was wrong. Your absence has left a void in my heart, a void that cannot be filled by anyone or anything else. My life feels incomplete without your presence. Every moment without you feels like an eternity. Since we parted ways, I've been living in fear. The fear that you might move on, that you might find someone else, that you might no longer want me in your life. This fear haunts me, keeping me awake at night and filling my days with anxiety. To be honest, I am desperate to hear from you. I want to know your current feelings for me. I want to know if you still care for me, if you still love me, if you still see a future with me. Your words, your feelings, mean the world to me, and I am eagerly waiting to hear them. When you both found alignment, it was as if the universe itself had conspired to bring you together. There was an undeniable force, a magnetic pull that drew you towards each other, and in that moment, you both experienced the most profound spiritual awakening. It was as if a veil had been lifted, revealing a world that was more vibrant, more real, and more beautiful than anything you had ever known. This awakening was not just a fleeting moment of clarity, but a profound shift in your understanding of yourselves and the world around you. It was as if you had been asleep all your life, and you were finally waking up to the truth of your existence. This awakening was accompanied by an intense desire and longing for each other, a yearning so deep and so powerful that it felt like a physical ache. You both felt an irresistible pull towards each other, a gravitational force that seemed to defy all logic and reason. It was as if your souls were being drawn towards each other, compelled by a force that was beyond your comprehension. This was not just a physical attraction, but a spiritual connection that transcended the boundaries of the physical world. As you delved deeper into this connection, you began to realize that you were not just two separate individuals, but two halves of the same whole. You were not just partners, but soulmates, bound together by a bond that was stronger than any physical tie. You were a part of each other, inseparable and intertwined in a dance of love and unity. This realization was both exhilarating and terrifying. You had never felt so sure about anything in your life, and yet, there was a part of you that was scared. Scared of the intensity of your feelings, scared of the depth of your connection, and scared of the unknown. But despite these fears, you knew in your heart that this was the person you were meant to be with. Even when things got complicated, when doubts and insecurities crept in, your intuition always guided you back to each other. It was as if a compass was embedded in your soul, always pointing you towards your true north. You may have tried to ignore these signs, to rationalize your feelings, but deep down, you knew that this was the person you were destined to be with. There were times when you both wanted to reach out, to express your feelings, to bridge the gap that had formed between you. But something held you back. Perhaps it was fear, or pride, or a sense of unworthiness. But whatever it was, it was a hurdle that you both needed to overcome. This journey, this spiritual awakening, is not an easy one. It is fraught with challenges and obstacles, with moments of doubt and despair. But it is also filled with moments of joy and love, of connection and unity. It is a journey that will test you, push you, and ultimately, transform you. This channeling, this spiritual awakening, is not for everyone. It is a path that is reserved for those who are ready to embrace their true selves, to shed their fears and insecurities, and to step into the light of their own divinity. It is a path that is often misunderstood, often ridiculed, but for those who walk it, it is a path of unparalleled beauty and profound transformation. This is the journey of the twin flames, two souls that are eternally bound, forever dancing in the cosmic ballet of love and unity. It is a journey that is both challenging and rewarding, filled with moments of pain and moments of bliss. 
But above all, it is a journey of love, a journey of two souls coming together to create something beautiful, something divine. It is a journey that is worth every step, every challenge, every tear, and every moment of joy. For in the end, it is a journey of coming home, of finding your true self, and of realizing that you are, and always have been, one with the universe, one with each other, and one with love. In the vast expanse of my existence, I find it impossible to envision a future with anyone other than you. You are not just a part of my life, you are my everything, the essence of my being, the core of my existence. The depth of my feelings for you is such that the only time I've ever felt a protective instinct towards another woman was when I met you. It was as if a dormant part of me suddenly awakened, a part that I didn't even know existed until you came into my life. However, I disappeared without providing a solid reason, leaving you in a state of uncertainty and confusion. The truth is, I haven't yet concluded matters in my personal life. There are unresolved issues, unfinished business that I need to attend to before I can fully commit to our relationship. I understand that this might have caused you pain and for that, I am truly sorry. I know you're upset with me. I've been stagnant in our relationship, not taking any steps to move it forward. I've been stuck in a state of inertia, unable to make a decision, unable to take action. I realize now how unfair this has been to you. You deserve someone who is willing to fight for you, someone who is willing to take risks for you, someone who is willing to move mountains for you. The more I reflect on our conversations, the more I think about how I feel when I'm around you. There's a sense of comfort, a sense of belonging that I've never felt with anyone else. But at the same time, I feel suffocated and trapped in this karmic situation. It's as if I'm caught in a whirlwind of emotions, unable to find my footing, unable to find my way out. But when I'm with you, all these feelings dissipate. I feel free, like a bird soaring in the sky. I feel like the happiest person in the world, as if all my worries and troubles have melted away. It's a feeling of pure bliss, of unadulterated joy that I've never experienced before. In the past, I was so focused on materialistic things, on acquiring wealth and possessions. I was so engrossed in this pursuit that I neglected the most important aspect of life, love and affection. I now realize that this was my biggest mistake, my biggest regret. No amount of wealth or possessions can compensate for the lack of love and affection in one's life. Thank you.